You know what's amazing? Being able to play on gaming handhelds. We can take AAA games with us anywhere we go, but do you know what isn't as great? typing on this sort of thing. That's why I'm excited about this. It's the Crowview Note. Wouldn't it be nice if you could just slide something shaped like a laptop in your bag along with your gaming handheld and then with a single cable just turn it into a laptop. Now at the moment this thing is at the very end of its Kickstarter but you could save about 30 or 40 dollars if you get those early bird discounts. It'll go for 170 dollars at retail but if it can actually do what it's promising to do then I think that might actually be a worthy price worth paying. Having the trackpad and keyboard and mouse all in a single single package that I don't need to worry about bringing extra stands for. That's very exciting to me. So let's get it out of the box. We've got a little user manual here, a bit of uh, polystyrene. There's an AC adapter included in the box, but what I'm really excited about is just using it battery powered because apparently this is a battery powered monitor. Let's just rip the plastic apart, Superman style. And as you can see, it looks like a standard laptop. Actually, it kind of looks like a laptop from a few years ago. It's a 14 inch monitor, which is actually a fairly reasonable size. Just want to point out that this was sent to me free of charge for the purposes of making this video. I don't have to send it back at the end. I wasn't instructed to say anything specific about it and all opinions are my own. Do, 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 do. You can see that they've gone for the sort of cheaper laptop display with the soft surface here that doesn't have the glass. And let's see what happens if we turn it on with nothing plugged in. Not actually sure what I'm expecting to happen here. No signal. It's USB-A on the left. You've got a mini HDMI in the middle and a USB-C port on the right side. On the opposite side, you've got another USB-C port, the headphone jack, the USB-A port, and what looks like a DC in jack. Funny, it says to plug into your computer using a USB-A to A cable. No one owns this cable. It's a single cable from the Asus Ally X going straight into this device and as you can see, it's running on battery power. So I've got nothing else plugged into this except for this one cable, which means that on the battery power of this for the screen and the battery power of this for the Ally, I can jump into some games and actually I can use the Ally as just a glorified gamepad now. I've got separate volume control, so I've got maximum volume coming out of the Ally X itself. And I've also got separate volume control here for the speakers, which is great. I don't have to rely on the volume control of the input source. So I can use the Crowview just as if I'm using my Steam Deck, but with this much larger screen, which is going to be fantastic if I'm actually playing this game with friends. Even the menu for the Ally X does show up correctly here on screen. I can still use that. Obviously, it's not a touch screen. So here we are in the game, able to do combos as normal. I'm certain that this is not the fastest screen on Earth, but it does not seem to be insanely laggy, at least what I can tell so far. So I'm able to do this all with just the battery power of the monitor. I don't need to worry about carrying a separate power supply around. I think the battery life is stated to be something like five hours for the screen. But what's really cool that I want to try now is... Oh, wow! I have got keyboard controls, which means that with just my gaming handheld and this Crowview Note, I've got a leverless and a D-pad setup. So if I want to play on pad, I can. And if I want to switch midway to use on a leverless setup, that's hilarious! Amazing. I don't need to worry about my laptop, like, being a gaming laptop. I can just bring this lightweight, battery-powered, glorified screen and keyboard. <laughs> this is kind of the price you would pay for just a monitor usually. I mean, obviously you can get monitors of a similar size, but with, you know, better specs to be honest, for like $100. But for $170 and with the super early bird discount if you get it on Kickstarter in the next like day or so, I don't know. <laughs> this is just fantastic and I've done nothing else with it except play Street Fighter. Let's also check out the desktop. So the best thing about this is that I can take advantage of it being a fully Windows handheld, which means I can press the Windows button here and bring up my Windows stuff. Wow, when was the last time I played Solitaire? Not gonna lie, this is not a nice glass touchpad or anything. This is a pretty basic touchpad, but it does get the job done. It doesn't seem to have a very good time if I use my thumb and then I move it around with my right finger. I think I need to have two separate fingers for some reason. I think maybe the connection, like the electronic connection between the thumb and the finger seems to get short-circuited or something. But if I have my left finger over here and my right finger separately, that seems to be smoother. If you use click lock in Windows, then you can just sort of double tap keys like so. You can actually click and drag like so. Not 
gonna lie, this is kind of amazing. You also have access to your regular shortcuts like three fingers up to go to the multitasker and then you can go back into fighting games and you can play leverless fighting games with the built-in keyboard, yes! And what's really cool is I don't need to wait for my whole laptop to shut down when I need to like get out of the cafe and just run out to the car. Just pull the cable, close it, and there's literally nothing to shut down in here because there are no innards. All right, I am able to use the Crowview Note as a docking station. These USB ports do feed through to the device. And as you can see, we are in here able to play the game on pad as well. So with this combination here, I can play on the device itself. I can play on a dedicated pad that I want to use, or I can even play leverless if I want using these controls like so. That's just hilarious. Now included in the set, we have a number of adapters. This is the Raspberry Pi 5 bridge board. This one is the Jetson Nano. Sorry, I spend most of my time playing Street Fighter. I have no idea what any of these words mean. If you are interested, these bits and pieces will go for $7 each at retail. Now there's one more thing I want to test and it's this, my iPad. Now one of your options with the iPad is to spend like three or $350 on a magic keyboard for this thing, but I like to keep it as thin as possible. Anyway, one of my dreams is to just set up my iPad like this, plug in a single device, which is a keyboard and mouse, and and now I also get a separate monitor as well. But the question is, does it actually work on iOS? And let's see, yes! Just change the arrangement here so that my iPad is on the left. Oh, perfect. So as you can see, I've got like the YouTube app full screen on my iPad and I've still got another app separately running over here. So I could be watching a video over there and I could be taking notes. These keys are actually not bad. I have a tiny little folding keyboard and the keys are like small and weirdly shaped and they're kind of annoying to use and that actually cost already, that was like $30 just for a little folding keyboard. So being able to have a nicer keyboard that feels a lot like a sort of low end laptop keyboard, I'm happy with this. You can watch this Kickstarter video for the Crowview Note if you're interested in the Kickstarter. As you can see, the stuff that you can do with it is very exciting, but most importantly of all is that this is all running on battery power. So I don't need to carry around a power supply to power my monitor and also like a stand to hold my monitor. And a lot of these monitors, they don't have like Visa ports on the back or screws on the bottom. So you have to buy like a clamp to hold them like I've just got a screen which I can change the angle. I can have it all the way flat if I want to. I can have it nice and closed like this. I can have it at a good angle like so. I can have my iPad right next to it. I'm sold. This is exactly what I thought it was going to be and I'm <laughs> I'm so happy about this. Now let's step back for a moment. It is exciting, but the retail price will be $170. So even after the Kickstarter finishes, is this the sort of price you want to be paying for this kind of thing? Personally, I'm like a resounding yes. I'm like, this is what I've been dreaming of for a really long time. Just want the form factor of a, la of a laptop, but not, I don't actually want to buy another laptop, but I certainly don't want to buy a cheap laptop. If I'm going to buy a laptop, I need to buy like a gaming laptop, something that can play games. But if I'm always going to be carrying around a gaming handheld anyway, then for $170 or with the discount $130, I can actually carry around something that turns this thing into something that's actually useful. Like, it's amazing as a gaming device, but when I'm trying to navigate things on Windows on here, it's like, well, Windows still hasn't come up with like a handheld mode that makes the menus actually easy to operate using just the D-pad and the buttons. But now with a single cable, I can turn a gaming handheld into a laptop and then I can use that same cable, plug into my iPad over here and I've got basically something that feels a lot like Mac OS. Sorry, I was trying to end this video with a number of like issues and cons, but basically I feel like for $170, this is what I've been waiting for forever. It's perfect. Like I want to be a gamer like 80% of the time, but I want to trick myself into believing that I'm also a productivity wizard and I could also like write scripts out and plan things out and take notes. And I'm not even really the target demographic for this. Even from the Kickstarter, you can see like the idea is that you'll plug your phone or you plug in one of these like SBC PCs, like a Pico Raspberry Pi type device. I love the idea that I could just plant like screenless computers around the house and have no monitor plugged in, but when I want to convert it into a workstation, I just show up with this. It's only the first day, so if I have any updates, I will let you know in the future. I will say that it's not like the 
highest quality gaming keyboard of all time. It's like, it feels like a cheap laptop. It's not the nicest screen on earth. It is 60 hertz, but it does get the job done. And a lot of gaming handhelds are also just 60 hertz. Now it's got a battery built in. It's got a microphone. It doesn't have a webcam. All the buttons are in the right place. It doesn't have a fantastic trackpad. In fact, it doesn't even work like a regular trackpad, but if you use two hands, then you can do your click and drag, or you can just set it to click lock like I've done. Listen, I think the Crowview Note is a fantastic idea at a reasonable price. What I'd love to see is future versions where you have slightly more premium parts. I'd love to have options that have like a really nice trackpad, really nice keyboard, or maybe a screen with 144 hertz instead. I would love to see lots of extra options. But right now, I think base model, $170 and a discount if you get it on the early bird discount for Kickstarter. I think this is a fantastic deal and I'm really looking forward to seeing what I can get out of this in the future. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and check out this video next. If you love to see technology, gear, and all that great stuff, I've been Younger Gamer. I'll see you real, real soon.